Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to go through a full complete guide of the Neon wallet. But before we start that, I want to talk to you quickly about security. Every day there is thousands of dollars lost to scammers and hackers. And if you've got an exploit on your computer, they're going to find it. So, you know, you don't want to fall into that, I wish I had done that category. So if there's anything that you can take away from this video, it's that securing your assets is vital and is one of the most important things you must master. The Neon Wallet is the most friendly, easy to use Neo Wallet for your Neo, Neo Gas and your NEP5 tokens. Now, NEP5 is the code that's used for projects on the NEO blockchain. And think of it like ERC20 tokens are to Ethereum. You can send ERC20s to an Ethereum address. You can do the same with NEP5 tokens to a NEO address. Now, I'll show you how to create a wallet and to save all your keys and how to log in using four different methods. I'll also show you how to create multiple addresses and how to take them offline. And if you're not sure on how to send and receive to a NEO address, I'll also cover that. And I'll also show you how to add custom tokens. Now, a lot of people ask this question, and I've noticed this in the chat rooms, that people don't know how to add a custom token or to, to view a NEP5 token that they've purchased in an ICO in their NEON wallet. Okay, so I'm going to cover that as well. So the first thing you need to do is navigate to the City of Zion wallet releases and then choose your operating system to download. Now, once you've installed it, you can open it up. And the first thing we need to do is create a new wallet. Now, the key to creating a wallet is to safeguard its security. You can't do this by storing any private keys on any web-based cloud service or even on your computer. Remember, hackers are rampant in this space and they will find an exploit if there is one. Always keep your keys on an external device, for example, a hardware wallet or an external or hard drive or a USB stick or any form of offline storage. I like to keep two copies on two separate devices. I also print two copies of keys and keep one at a family member's house for safekeeping. Okay, so click on create new wallet. Now enter a passphrase. With a passphrase, I like to make a sentence using family member names and numbers. Like as an example, John 1, James 2, Karen 3, Rose 4, Mike 5, and using a capital on each name. Now I use this for all wallets, then I don't need to write it down or store it anywhere and risk having it stolen. Okay, so enter passphrase again, and then generate keys. So now copy by hitting Control C, all the wallet info and paste this into a text file. Save the text file to an external offline device. Also, print a copy of info and save it to an external device and print two hard copies of this. Now, if you want to save this account for easy access in the future, you can give this account a name. Now, if you click on the back tab, we can actually use this to log in using the saved wallet feature by just adding a passphrase for the account. Now, if you want to create multiple wallets, just simply repeat what we've just done. Now that we've created the wallet, let's look at where the key store file is kept. Now, this contains your encrypted key and your address. And once you know where this is, you can take it offline and then put it back online whenever you want. So if we click on log in using a saved wallet, you'll notice that the account that we previously created is under here. We can also go to manage neon settings and you can see the account is listed here. 
So the first thing we need to do is we need to navigate to the key store storage folder. Now this is located in different folders depending on your operating system. Here's some instructions for each system. So you can pause the video if you need to. Now I'm running Windows 10, so I will use this as an example. So the first thing you can do is come down to the left and if you type in percentage, then app data, and then percentage, and then hit enter. Now scroll down until you find the neon folder and then inside you'll find the storage folder. You will then see a file called user wallet. Now you can use notepad to open this. You'll notice that here is your address and here is your encrypted key. So to remove your wallet to an offline device, this is how you do it. First, close the neon wallet Next, remove the user wallet file from the storage folder and put it on an external device. I will use this desktop folder to simulate an external device folder. You should now see no file there. If you still see it, use the cut and paste option. So now our wallet is completely offline. If we want to add it back, simply add the user wallet file back into the storage folder. Be aware though that when you open the Neon wallet, it will create a default user wallet file. So you'll need to remove or overwrite when you add back your own wallet file. In this part of the video, I'm gonna show you transfers and just the fundamentals. And that is sending a amount of Neo from an exchange to your wallet and sending NEO out from your wallet. So first we will send NEO from an exchange to your NEON wallet. Open your NEON wallet and click on the receive tab. Now copy your address. Now sending from an exchange is the same principle but we will use Binance as an example. In Binance, we need to navigate to the Funds tab, then select Withdrawals. Next, we must select Neo in the drop down menu. We can do this by typing here or scrolling down. If you plan on using the same Neo address in the future, we can paste the address you copied from your Neon wallet here and give your address a label. Now, add the amount you would like to send to your Neon wallet. After we click Submit, you will be sent an email which you need to confirm the withdrawal. A Neo transaction can take a few minutes depending on the network congestion, so never freak out about this. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is get our NEO address on the exchange we're going to use. In this example, we will use Binance. So the first thing we need to do is click on Funds and then Deposits. Select NEO from the drop down or type it in and copy the address here. Now, back in our Neon wallet, select Send. Now, select Neo in the drop down and add the amount that you wish to send to the exchange. Paste the address that we copied from the exchange, in this case, Binance, and select Next. Now always double check the address you're sending to by matching the first and last two digits of the address. Click on I agree and send assets. Now sending to an exchange is normally a bit faster than receiving from an exchange. Normally it will take a minute or two before it shows up under deposits.
When you do a ICO on the NEO blockchain, quite often when it's finished and you received your tokens, you aren't able to actually view them in your NEON wallet. So in this part of the video, I'm going to show you how to add the hash, that's if it's available, and be able to actually see your tokens within the NEON wallet. Okay, so let's add a custom token to our NEON wallet. I will use the Galaxy token called Gala as an example because at the time of this video, Gala is not yet supported by the NEON wallet. First, we must find the hash code for the token. Now, this can normally be found by asking in the project's Telegram channel. Here, I have the Gala hash. So I will paste it in a notepad. Next, click on Manage Neon Settings. Now select Manage Tokens. If we look at this Manage Tokens box, you'll notice these hash codes have a lock symbol. This means that the developers have added these tokens by default to the Neon wallet. If we scroll down, you can see three here that have trash can symbols. This means they have been added manually and can still be deleted. So next, click on Add New Token. This is where we paste the hash code for the Gala token. Paste, then click on Save. Now, if we log in, to our Neon Wallet, we can now see our Gala tokens are visible. So I hope this video helped you and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and don't smash, be gentle and just tap that bell button so whenever I release a new video tutorial you'll get notified. And don't forget to like the video too, because it's important that uh, the more likes it gets, then it gets seen by more people. And we want more new users into the space to expand the crypto sphere. Take care, everyone.